Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Lady Tamarot T. I am back with another reading. This is going to be for Leos, <laughs> Sun, Moon, and Rising, male and female. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. For those that this reading happens to resonate with, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to click that little bell button so you can be notified whenever I upload a reading, okay? I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of your likes and shares and comments and subscribes to my channel. Finally reaching 1,000 subscribers. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, so, I am going to be doing personal readings soon. Very, very soon, okay? Um, so just look out for that, okay? It's a lot of things that I'm trying to get together. I'm trying to get it together, guys. So just bear with me. And my readings are going to be affordable, and it's not going to be like a time limit, okay? And most of all, before I get into this reading, I wanted to talk a little bit about that, okay? Um, so I'm going to be doing like the Hangout. Yeah, I'm going to be doing most of my readings on Hangouts. Um, and I really want to do, like, recorded readings as well for those who don't want to go live. But that's how I'm going to be doing my readings, okay? So, yeah, but they're definitely going to be affordable. So, but I'll, you know, I'll keep you guys filled in, you know. But this is for uh, Leo. <laughs> sun moon and rising i'm definitely going to be keeping you guys updated on what's going on though okay because i do have a lot of things that needs to be changed around and i'm working on it okay so just please be patient with me okay so back to this reading leo 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 all right um so as i was shuffling cards came out for you already so i decided to just leave them here okay um all right, at the bottom of the deck, we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this is definitely a love relationship feeling I'm getting. Okay, so, oh, wow. Um, oh, okay, wow, separation. Wow, I was feeling that, too, with the love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I'm going to put this up here. But some, some of y'all feel like, yeah, this was a true love, or you felt like this was your true love. Um, for some of you, you were really getting to know this person. You know, you were revealing a lot of... Um, personal things to this person. I'm sorry. I never even flipped this card over. That kind of health, okay? I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul, okay? So it could have been a situation where, like, something was going on here with the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags. Um, maybe you felt like this person wasn't being honest, okay? There's definitely separation here, okay? Time apart from your partners on the horizon. So maybe you took a break from this person, okay? You decided to to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive is what I'm getting, okay? Um, and so let me pull some more cards for you, Leo, okay? Sorry about the rambling on. I just had to say that because I'm getting, a, you know, uh, messages, well, comments, and, you know, my subscribers are asking me, you know, do you do personal readings? And I'm like, yeah, I want to do personal readings. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get some things together. It's not easy. But I want to make sure that, you know, some things are straight before I start doing personal readings, okay? So, I'm just, yeah, just bear with me. All right, so what we have for Leo? What other messages do we have for Leo? Ooh, okay. <clears throat> we have freedom, yeah. I was feeling that, too, like somebody may have wanted their freedom. Maybe somebody didn't want to be tied down in a relationship. Or maybe someone was just afraid to um, really fall in love is what I'm getting, okay? Hmm, could have been the other person. We have imagination, okay? What else do we have? Wow, we have forgiveness, and we have acceptance. Okay. So with this acceptance card, I feel like for a lot of you, you may have accepted that you know that you can't change this person is what I'm getting. Yeah, because we have failure at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, yeah, with this acceptance card, that's really like coming out to me really strong in this reading. It says, I am learning to accept the things I, that I cannot change. 
So I feel like you felt that you couldn't you couldn't change this person. You know, there was just a lot of things that just was off about this person. You know, um, even though I feel like, yeah, it's like you're healing, okay, with the health card, okay. So you could be healing, trying to forgive this person, or this person could be coming back to you asking for forgiveness, okay. We have imagination, okay. So I'm getting, yeah, especially with the um, getting to know each other, you guys definitely were, like, imagining this person. Maybe you guys were imagining you marrying this person because we have the true love card here, okay? We have romantic feelings. So I feel like with the true love, this is a romance of a lifetime in this imagination card. I feel like a lot of you may have felt that you could have been married to this person. Maybe you have... Um, Maybe you were imagining you guys taking your relationship to the next level, but for some reason, with this pay attention to the red flags, that was just there were just some things that was off about this person or about the connection. Okay, maybe this person just wasn't being totally honest. Okay, and I feel like for a lot of you, you have chosen to love yourself first. Forgive this person, yes, because we do have the forgiveness card here, and you not holding on and harboring, you know, and having this resentment towards this person because it's blocking, it's going to block your true love from coming in, okay? I feel like with this acceptance card, like I said again, you just learned that, you know, you can't, you can't change this person, you know, you probably just accept it that this person is just someone who's very free and someone who loves their freedom, you know, someone who just um, don't want to be tied down or this just could be your energy, okay? So just take the messages however they resonate for you, but that's what I'm getting, okay? I'm also getting, like, there could have been, like, a fear of really opening up and really letting someone in just because of this factor right here, okay? Someone being afraid to really open up and, you know either settle down with one person or I, you know but that's what i'm getting anxious. okay so let's see what do you what messages do you have spirit for leo sun moon and rising oh okay Okay, so we have, you're giving your power away. This is the card that fell. And it says, you are a badass, act like it. Yeah, so I feel like for a lot of you, you felt like you were giving your power away. Okay, um, you may have felt like you were, give, you were getting drained by this person. You may have felt like, you know, the relationship just wasn't growing, even though there, was romant, there were romantic feelings. In this relationship, just something was just off. So you decided to take back your power and love yourself first here with this love yourself first card, okay? And then we have, let's see, came out like this. I'm going to read it like this. It says, allow that shit to come to you. Okay, so yeah, don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. So yeah, that kind of makes sense because I feel like somebody just wanted their freedom. Um, and again, somebody just wasn't being honest, obviously, with the pay attention to the red flags, okay? And, yeah, so I feel like you decided to not force it, you know, not force this relationship on someone who just probably wasn't ready at the time, okay? So we have don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. And we have get after that shit. The world has your back, okay? That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. Hmm. Interesting. So what I'm getting with the love yourself first card and could have been something else that you put on the wayside. Because I feel like this has something to do with something that you're interested in or maybe another person that you're interested in. Okay, but I'm really getting like a project or something um, that maybe you have had a lot of like imagination like imagining doing something something that um something creative okay yeah most definitely that's a strong message that's coming through that's for somebody okay this is not for everybody this is just for a few like a little small group of people okay 
It could have been a project or something that you've had on your mind um, that was kind of put on the back burner in this relationship. And now that you have decided to love yourself first, that project that you've been waiting, that idea that you've been having, okay, that's on your mind, something to do with creativity, okay, imagination, <clears throat> whatever you've been imagining, doing, putting effort into that idea is waiting okay and it says get after that shit the world has your back that kind of resonates with me i don't know about y'all but <laughs> um <laughs> and wow it's crazy because i am a moon in leo okay my um my uh, moon sign is uh, leo um wow that's crazy <laughs> um and i was just talking about the goddamn personal reading so that kind of makes sense that's a project something that i want to do that's something that i've been imagining wow <laughs> so that i that shit is fucking waiting and the world has my back so that message was for me but i feel like for others whatever you've been thinking about whatever creative endeavor whatever you've been thinking about whatever this is that you put on the back burner this is something that you need to take action in okay and the world has your back you will have support but as far as this love thing i feel like <clears throat> you decided to love yourself first, okay? Because I feel like somebody somebody wanted their freedom. Or maybe you wanted your freedom, okay? So this could be vice versa, okay? Um, Let me go ahead and pull... Um, Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and pull a Crystal Angel Oracle's card for you. And then we're going to get right into your reading, Leo. Wow. So I feel like you had like two great messages. Okay. Wow, Leo. All right. And even with like this could mean like a new job, a new career, something that you have been focused on, something that you have been, you know, this shit has been in your mind. You know, you've been really imagining you doing this. So you need to get after that. Okay. The world has your back. Get after that shit. Don't let it fall by the wayside is what I'm hearing. Okay. And that goes for me, too. I can take some advice. I don't mind. Oh, wow. We have a lot of cards. Oh, no. That's too many. Five of them? Wow. Too many. Okay. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Some of you are definitely learning to love yourself first. You're putting... Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Why does they keep giving me so many cards? Okay, I feel like you guys need this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, okay, it came out for a reason, right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. My spirit guy said, look, you're going to take this. Stop playing with us. You heard what we said. Because <laughs> the first time four, like five cards came out, and then now this time, six cards came out. Like, you heard what we said. Now we're going to throw an extra one in there. You heard what we said. Okay, I hear y'all. Y'all shut me up. I said, no, I'm not taking all this. They said, no, you're going to take this and another one. Okay. <laughs> okay, spirit guides. Wow. All right. Wow. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Look, answer prayers. Wow, this is really good. All of your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So that's why this get after that shit, this project, this something that you have been imagining, you've been putting on the back burner, you need to get after it. Your, your prayers is definitely going to be answered, okay? Wow. Really good energy, Leo. We have uh, Opalites, okay? Increased support. Yes, your support focus. I mean, I'm sorry. Your positive focus and willingness to receive, to receive have opened the door to an abundance of help and opportunities again so your prayers is definitely going to be answered whatever career or path or project that you're into or whatever that you put on a back burner you need to get after that you're definitely having support your answers are going to be um answered i mean your prayers are going to be answered and you're definitely going to be receiving a lot of abundance and there's going to be new opportunities and an increased support okay so help from more than one person from the divine this is really good Wow, we have opal, okay? Let yourself sparkle and shine. I know that's right, Leo. <laughs> you are guided You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. Yes, 
So whatever project you're, I'm telling you, wow, spirit is definitely helping you. We got imagery, balanced masculine and feminine energies. We have rubelite, passion and purpose. Yeah, so a lot of passion. I'm telling you, you guys have a purpose. Wow. 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 Your enthusiasm, your enthusi, whatever. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Gives you energy and motivation. I ain't even going to worry about it. To work on a meaningful project that's dear, oh my God, to your heart. Then I say that project again. Wow, some sort of project. It's definitely you something that you have a passion for. It's and it's definitely gonna that's your purpose, Leo. Wow. It's something mean, meaningful. It's a project that's definitely dear, near and dear to your heart. It's something that you have a lot of passion for. Again, so some sort of project that's definitely being um, you know, that's standing out again, that's being illuminated, like. Again, some sort of project, okay? Wow, something that you put on the back burner. You're getting support from spirit, support from those that are around you. Just take that step. Take that next step. Wow, thank you, spirit, because that's a message for me too, okay? We have the gold card, divine inter... Oh, my goodness, wow. No wonder why spirit said no. You're, no, mm -mm, you won't take this. this. Somebody needs to hear this, Okay. Divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. This is something that somebody has been praying about. Like, this is some, like, wow, this is really beautiful energy. New beginnings for you, Leo. Wow, some sort of project. You need to get after it, okay? And I'm taking that advice for myself as well. Let's get into this reading. What cards am I going to use? Let me see. What cards am I going to use for you, Leo? Matter of fact, I think I need to... Hold up. Okay. I got my cards that I'm going to use. I got my cards that I'm going to use. But I want to pull another... Um, all right. So, I'm going to be using this deck. But I want to pull some angel answers. Okay. Be just right before we get into this reading. Okay. I know I should have been heading this stuff out. But you know what? It's all good. Let's see. Wow. Wow. God is good. God is definitely good. I'm telling you. Wow. Because I remember when I only had like, and I know a thousand is not a lot, but it's a lot to me. Like, one is a lot. Like, so me having a thousand subscribers, I'm just like so happy. <laughs> I really am. It's, I'm blown away. I really am. Um,. So let's see, Leo, Leo, Leo. What messages do you have for Leo? Wow, spirit. Ooh, success. Oh my goodness, you guys are definitely going to have success with with other. I feel like this is the project. Okay, you're going to have success. Wow, Leo. I feel like this is definitely help from the angels. Look how that 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 ball of light is just beaming down. Okay, this angel is definitely helping. This is, I feel like this is your energy, accepting the blessings from heaven. Okay, this is definitely success. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Leo, wow. And some of you do need to ask for help from others because there is support out there for you. Okay, wow. And this is really like, Wow, that kind of speaks to my soul right now with the ask for help from others. So, like, this is really beautiful, okay? Wow. Let's see, what other messages do we have for Leo? Ooh, hold up. What other messages do you have for Leo, spirit? Yes, success. Yes. Oh, and I'm sorry, you guys, because I didn't already, I didn't skip all over this amateurine card. Okay, balancing masculine and feminine energies, allowing your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. So this is balancing the two energies, your masculine and your feminine energy, okay? Allowing the feminine energy to 
you know, creatively inspire you when it comes to your projects and allowing the masculine energy to give you that confidence that you need. So this is really good energy. Oh my goodness. Yes, it is. Wow. So we have get more information and we have communicate clearly. So again, this resonates with me a lot because I told you I'm trying to get more stuff together, you know, for my personal readings. But anyway, this is the reading for you, Leo. But, um, you know, some of you need to get a little more information on this project. What are the things that are needed for you to move forward? Okay. And communicate clearly. You have support around you, Leo. Wow. So, I mean, I noticed... I normally try to do my readings based on love, but if any other message comes through that I feel that you guys need it, that's what I'm going to speak on. And I know that we're talking, like, I really tried to see what was going on with you guys with love, but it almost seems like, you know, you've been really trying to focus on love and just things are not balancing out the way that you have hoped it to do, you know, to balance out. So, but with this career or some sort of project, it's really standing out to me. So I really have to roll with that. Okay. It's like my spirit guides are not letting me shut up about that. Like with this with this career, whatever project that you put on the back burner, no. It is time for you to get up and get out. Look, look, look for a sign. Here is your sign, okay, right here. Um, so, yeah, and, and, you know, for others of you, look for a sign. Go out there, get more information, you know, communicate with others, networking, you know what I'm saying? Um yeah, because there is something better, okay? And a lot of success coming for you, okay? And I feel like it's no need for you to wait. Like, this is your sign. Some of you have been waiting, you know what I'm saying? But now it's time for you to get that information that you need so you can move forward, okay? Wow. Let's get into this reading, Leo. Wow. Beautiful energy. It's time to get after that shit. That's what I'm going to name this reading. It's time to get after that shit. And I just heard that in my head. So I think it's my, yeah, my spirit guy is supposed to say that. Because I just heard get after that shit. Yes. One more shuffle. Let's see what we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yes, thank you. Overall energy, we have the Two of Cups. Partnerships, love, finally. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So I feel like all like this other big message about a career and all of that shit, they really wanted me to speak on that. And so now it's getting back to love. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Two of Cups, overall energy. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. See, my spirit guys listen to me too because I'm like, okay, well, what about love? You know, here we, here it is. Okay. Two of Cups, relationships. Okay. Okay. Some of y'all could have been definitely dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is the overall energy, partnerships. Okay. Two people seeing eye to eye, a relationship. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Six of Pentacles. I, I felt the need to speak on this about even give and take, you know, um, giving as well as receiving, okay? <clears throat> so maybe that was a problem because we do have you are giving away your power. So for some of you, maybe you you gave away a lot, you know, and was not receiving as much as you were giving, in this relationship, like I said, with the pay attention to the red flags, we did have the true love. So a relationship essence came up in this reading, but it just was something about it just was a little off. Okay, so let's see. We have the daughter of swords. Yeah, so this is definitely um, that spying card. Okay, some of y'all could have been dealing with the air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Um, this could be someone spying or wanting to communicate. This could also be like a message, okay? Um, all right, so that's the current energy. So it could be somebody watching you, you watching them, or somebody wanting to communicate with you. This could be someone that you were in a relationship with, okay? Because we do have the romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. We do have true love here. I'm sorry, I know it's a lot. Um, what else do we have here? Yeah, we have getting to know each other. So communication, like I said, with that daughter of swords being here, 
okay someone speaking some sort of truth being you know a little honest but this is immature energy so this could also be someone younger than you okay or you could be younger than them this could be an air sign wanting to communicate with you wanting to send you a message let's see we have the mother of swords wow so again wow this could be your energy or this could be their energy but i am getting air energy here okay libra gemini aquarius mother of swords speaking that truth you know very cold very um well not cold but you know she just tells it like it is you know she don't hold no like she don't cut cards she don't cut corners you know she just tells you how it is um and she's quick to cut you off as well okay this could have been someone, you know, this could be your energy. You you could be single now, you know. Um, I'm really getting an older energy versus a younger energy. So I am getting younger energy. Or maybe this could just be the person's attitude, the way that they act or the way that they speak. You know, that's what I'm getting, okay. Wow. So what's on someone's mind is, is basically like wanting to speak some sort of truth. But this could also be... Um, you cutting someone off okay so that could be on your mind okay let's see we have the seven of swords so someone is feeling trapped um hold on i said that i mean i'm sorry i'm sorry i said seven of swords i'm sorry eight of swords so someone is feeling a little like restricted somebody could have been um blocked Okay, maybe somebody is not some I feel like somebody is unable to communicate here because we do have a lot of swords here. I feel like one person is unable to communicate. They could be blocked or they could be it could be some like uh, restrictions. Okay, or someone being afraid to speak their truth. Okay, also with the eight of swords, this is someone afraid to break free. You know, I mean. It just could be some someone wanting to just ball up in their little shell and not wanting to express how they feel. Someone who's feeling powerless, you know, um, no backbone. That's what I'm getting here with this Eight of Swords, okay? We have the Five of Pentacles. Again, that loneliness, okay? So feeling left out in the cold. Some of y'all could have been dealing with the... Um, Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, but it, I feel like there was some sort of separation, okay? Now someone is wanting to communicate with you, but they're feeling afraid, okay? They're feeling, uh, I, I really feel, I'm getting a sense of, like, someone, someone is afraid of what you might say to them. Definitely a lot of sword energy here, a lot of communication, or someone wanting to communicate, they are, but they're watching, but they're not really taking action, okay? Because they're feeling trapped, they're feeling like, it's almost like, a dog trying to come to you with their tail between their legs, okay? That's the energy that I'm getting from this. The outcome we have, yeah, the, <laughs> the seven of swords, the seven of wands, I'm sorry. So now they're trying, because they're feeling left out in the cold. I, I don't feel that this is your energy. I feel this is somebody that you separated from, okay? Because we did have the separation card, okay? Um, this is somebody who's trying to gain the courage to come forward to speak some sort of truth. Um, with the seven of wands, yes, this is them gaining that inner strength to stand their ground, or this could be your energy, standing your ground, keeping this person away from you, keeping them left out in the cold, not really caring about how they feel, and, and just keeping them moving here, that's also what I'm getting, so we could go either one or two ways, some of y'all could be wanting this person, well, I feel like this person wants to reach out to you, but they're afraid, okay, because of how you cut them off. Maybe you went off on the ass. I'm not sure. Okay. But somebody definitely wants your forgiveness. And that's crazy. We do have the forgiveness card here. See, a lot of these cards that be kind of like going back to my Oracle card. So with the tarot, it kind of like, it, it's kind of like, inter, like, it's kind of like intertwined with my Oracle cards. It's so crazy how the story just comes together. But that's what I'm getting. Somebody is afraid. This is some definitely somebody wants to speak some sort of truth to you. This is somebody that, that you know. But I feel like the relationship has been put on, like, something happened here where someone which is afraid, maybe the communication was a little off, and that's, that could be where the um, pay attention to the red flags come in at, you know? Um, someone just was not really being honest. Maybe someone was a little too immature for you. That's what I'm seeing here as well. I really feel like you guys... You guys, even, I feel like there's a 
maturity difference here, okay? Like, you could have been a lot more mature, a lot more older, uh, um, you know, speaks well, you know, very um, intelligent, okay? This person is kind of like still learning. This is a younger energy here, you know, um, who's willing to learn. Yes, could be honest and all of that, but I just feel like, yeah, they still need, they still need to, they still need to grow here is what I'm getting. Maybe you guys were not growing on the same level, okay? Maybe there wasn't a give, um, um, an even give and take with the Six of Pentacles, like I said, okay? Um, wow. Let's see. What's this Two of Cups? I'm going to clarify the Two of Cups. We've been rolling for 30 minutes. Wow, the Empress. Yeah, so somebody sees you as a nurturer, a mother figure. That's probably how this per why this person still wants to, like, cling on to you, but they could be afraid. It, yeah, it's almost like a... Like, a, you could have been like a mother to them, a nurturer, male or female. It's like that motherly energy. That's what I'm getting. And I'm feeling like a very innocent, childlike energy that's kind of like, hey, look at me, you know, I'm over here. You know, somebody who just doesn't really want to, someone who's afraid. I feel like this is the same person that you cut off or that cut you off, whatever, you know. Wow. Let's see. Daughter of Swords, male or female. Let's see. What's this? Um page of swords that's what it is page of swords yeah see eight of <laughs> eight of cups so they're stagnant though with the eight of cups they want to come forward but it's like they're afraid in this deck okay with the eight of cups it's almost like someone is having a lot of someone is afraid to emotionally walk away someone is having a hard time with someone is having a lot of stagnation so they want to come forward Okay, and this is someone that you left behind, okay? They want to come forward, but they're just not, they're just too afraid here. That's what I'm getting, okay? Wow. It's like you left that child out in the cold. <laughs> Mother of Cups, yeah, exactly. You have that nurturing, you have that nurturing energy here, Leo. Wow, some of y'all definitely could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's a strong motherly energy here. I feel like you, you kind of like... That's you. That's the motherly energy, the nurturing energy that they see in you, okay? Let me hurry up before my camera cut off. Yeah, so now there's some sort of decision that needs to be made, okay? Um, because this, this this person is feeling powerless and they're feeling trapped, okay? Um, and I feel like they could be feeling like they're getting their karma back for whatever happened, okay? There's a decision that needs to be made. Or they could be making some sort of decision. Or they could be feeling like, you know, they want things to be balanced between you two. Again, with the temperance, some of y'all could have been dealing with um, another fire sign. Could be a Sagittarius, but somebody is feeling left out in the cold and they're wanting to renew this relationship. They wanted to heal it, okay? Yeah, this person that feels left out in the cold. And let's go ahead and get this seven of wands because I feel like they're trying to gain the strength and courage to come forward. Okay, but in the meantime, you guys need to focus on you and go after that fucking project. Okay, we have the Hierophant. Yes, yeah, so somebody is coming forward. They're trying to gain the strength and inner courage to come forward and offer you a commitment. Okay, this could be a Taurus as well. We have all the elements here, Leo. Okay, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, um, we have. Air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we have fire here as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, such as yourself, okay? Or Leo, such as yourself, okay? But yeah, see the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so someone wants some happiness. Someone sees a, like a happy family home life. You know, they they are more fulfilled when they're with you. This is the Ten of Cups, okay? Yeah, for the Emperor, like I said, Emperor, I feel like Emperor is not too far from the fucking Empress, okay? So somebody definitely wants to build a, a um, relationship with you, okay? I'm gonna leave it there. All right, yes, yeah, somebody def. This could be an Earth sign too, towards Virgo, Capricorn. But somebody definitely, it's that mother. It's that it's that fucking motherly energy. I'm sorry, you guys. I can't even talk. It's that motherly energy. They get so excited. They are just like so afraid, and they don't want to really come forward, but they really want to come forward. And it's just all over the place. But I do feel like eventually they will be getting the courage and the strength to come forward and offer you 
this commitment in marriage here is what I'm getting for a lot of you. We got the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Empress, and the fucking Emperor, okay? Justice card, legal problems, legal papers that probably needs to get signed, okay? That's what I have for you, Leo. I'm sorry, you guys, for rambling on like that. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.